Ah, uh, girl, you already know I'm gonna come see you later. I don't know why you're tripping right now. Listen, listen, listen. I got a box of Ghirardelli for you. I got four bouquets of flowers. And I got the biggest squishmallow you could ever find on the planet. Sort of god. Alright, I for sure. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Alright, I love you, my little firefly. Hey! Hey, yo! You... You weren't supposed to... You weren't supposed to see that. Um, you weren't supposed to hear any of that. <clears throat> hey yo, what's poppin' party people? I'm that one dude Chris from YouTube. It's Valentine's Day. I hope you're, you know, spending your day with the loved one. I hope you're spending your day with your special one. Uh, if you don't have a special one, then I mean, I'll be your special one. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you do have one, I hope you guys are cuddled up watching this video right now. You know, I just, I, I figured, why don't we go ahead and play like a bunch of Valentine's Day related games, a bunch of love related games. So that's what we're going to do today. I got, I got my lights set to Valentine's Day mode. You know what I'm saying? It's the, the feeling is right right now. The feeling is right. So the first game that I wanted to play is Love Me, Love Me Not. Now, have you ever had a had a dandelion or a flower whatever this kind of flower is called you just you plucked it and goes he she loves me he she loves me not he she loves me he she loves me not and that last petal that you pick determines the everything it determines the, the the fate of the universe that's what we're going to be playing today uh at least for our first game <laughs> I honestly have no idea what's happening. Okay, so the first question I want to ask is, do my subscribers love me? Uh, oh, 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 oh. You know what, maybe we could try it again. We could try it again. Plug the pedals before the water and the watering can runs out. What? Oh, oh, oh they love me. My subscribers love me. Oh my. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, guys, stop it. I think I see how this is actually a game. Because it's kind of hard to, to figure out where the... Be careful with me. Oh my goodness. This game is a little morbid. I, I just clicked on the B. I didn't think I was hurting anybody. Is this what it really feels like to feel pain? Is this what it feels like to hurt somebody? Okay, does my girlfriend love me? She loves me! Okay, does she still love me? Ah, <laughs> she loves me. Uh, do my subscribers love me? Guys. Do my parents love me? Uh, 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 do my, do my parents love me? Yo, 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 we love you. <laughs> Guys, it's a cute game and all, but I'm... next. Uh, this next game is called Wingman from the Other Side. You are apparently a ghost and you're trying to help some people get together. Uh, you're going to interact with some stuff in different areas to kind of like give a little nudge to these people. Give a give, give a little push, you know what I'm saying? Be the wingman from the other side. Uh, I can't imagine any of these games that I picked to be too lengthy just because I made sure that I didn't pick any games that were like playthrough that, that looked like playthrough games. So Wingman from the other side should not take us that long. Yeah, there's only, there's a demo, yeah. So there's only four levels, we, we got this. Okay, bring one of these apples to the end of the level. Use left shift to possess and unpossess objects. Okay, so I need to possess an apple. Was it left shift? What the hell is a left shift? Oh, oh, whoa, okay. That's honestly kind of fire. Uh, as a ghost, you can move through walls. 
Right, but how does that help me as an apple? Oh, this is just a demo level. Okay, all right, I, I got you. I got you. Use the key to unlock the door. So I possess it, and then oh, okay. Press E while possessing the fan and turn it on and off. Yo, that's kind of fire. Fireworks respawn at firework boxes. Uh. Oh, use a screwdriver to open the vent covers. Why would I need to do that? Sound effects are low key on point. Am I enjoying this? <laughs> At a local convenience store, you notice two people roughly the same age, nervously glancing at each other, then quickly shifting their gaze back to their shopping list once the uh, other notices. It must be love. Make them meet. Okay. All right. Um, soup, apples, plates, soup, apples, plates, soup, apples, plates. Wait. Uh, wait, can you use plates for soup? All right, so my objective is to... Get these people some soup, some apples, and some plates. Oh, what does this girl say? Ugh, working on Valentine's Day. Hopefully this shift doesn't drag on forever. I hope you remain here for the rest of your life. Napkins, bread, gala apples. I shouldn't be taking this long. I honestly don't know what any of this stuff looks like. Uh, should I just start putting, like, whatever in the cart? Find objects they have in common. Oh, wait, it's that they have in common. Ow! It's weak that you take fall damage. Apples, plates, soup, apples, plates, soup, apples, plates, soup, apples, plates. Napkins, bread, apples. So they just want apples. I mean, the one thing that they have in common is apples, which I vibe check. I get that. You know, apples, apples make the world go round. Without apples, we, ow. Without Without apples, I can knock this over as the apple. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ow! I keep taking massive dabblage. Hey! Look at that. Oh! They touched tips. I mean, they touched fingers. They touched hands. Hey, you don't happen to be a doctor, do you? Don't worry, no apple could keep me <laughs> away from you. <laughs> Yo, this is some corny shit right here. What the fuck am I playing? The love letter. You found a love letter sealed with a kiss lost in the basement of an apartment building. It must be a love letter. Read it and bring it uh, to its intended recipient using the letter's description. Okay. Uh, what does it say? Dear, My dearest... P my heart beats like a heavy metal drum solo every time you are uh, like a heavy metal drum solo every time you gracefully glide through my mind. You are so beautiful as a flower in spring and your voice is like night nightingale at the break of dawn. When I'm with you, I feel a thrill like that of winning an oversized duck from a carnival game. The thought of being without your company this Valentine's Day makes my soul sink into a deep dark hole. If you feel the same, please do me a great honor of joining me at the finest establishment in town for a riveting night. Yours truly. Oh, this is Lola. This was the girl from the, the, the it's Lola. Oops. Okay. Haha, uh -huh, I'm not even winded yet. I don't think that's you. La da dee da. Oh, oh. This person's name starts with a P. It's probably Penelope. Oh, uh, but then there's Posse. What do I want? Something peppy? Nah, something kind of angsty? Maybe. Oh, she's in. She's angsty. So it could be posse. The bird was ravenous. Wait, does the word ravenous come? Wait, does the ravenous? Does the word ravenous come from? Hmm. Okay, that makes it just a tad bit harder. I don't know why I thought it was going to be so easy. Let me see. Can I? Can I read the note? It looks like it would be long enough for the name to be Penelope. So I'm gonna take the letter to Penelope and see what happens. Gotta possess this key. Unlock, unlock the vents? No? All right, guys, I forgot how to play. Oh, screwdriver, that's right. 
Screw driver. Excuse me, I'm just gonna pass. Oh, uh, well, I can't pass through. Hold on. Key. Ah, key! There we go. Oh, you can only use one key at a time. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I I got this. Okay. I'm making moves. I'm getting somewhere. I'm feeling I'm feeling confident about my ability to be a wingman. Oh wait, how do I get it up to you? Oh no, did I mess up? I think I messed up somewhere. Hang on, let me restart the level. Because I don't think it was as straightforward as I was making it seem. So I take the screwdriver and I unlock all the vents. And I messed up again. Um, I got other games to play. I, <laughs> I'm not going to spend all of my time trying to figure out this puzzle. It was a cute game. But uh, moving on. Welcome to the UDS demo. Be warned, while we did test as much as possible, there are still some spots that kind of that get kind of sketchy. At the moment, saving and loading, as well as back and other rempy functions are pretty much broken. There might be times where you manage to save, but be warned that it will most likely crash your game. Please let us know what you think. So without further ado, Team UDS presents... Okay, so I I really have nothing to say for myself. Um, in love in Undertale dating story. <laughs> oh, guys, I kid you not when I tell you I spent about maybe like thirty minutes to an hour trying to find Valentine's Day or even love related games on Steam, Itchio, Game Jolt, and. I didn't find anything that really piqued my interest except for like the last two games, this one, and I got two more games after this one. I don't know what to expect from this game. I'm very scared. I'm actually trembling at the thought of what this game could present to me. There was no nudity warnings or anything like that, so we should be fine. I'm going to regret this after I post it, but here we go. In the distance, you hear someone calling your name. Uh, we're going to be daddy. There's no better way to put that. Daddy. Is that what they called you? Hell yeah, it is. Practice your kung fu moves, take a closer look, flirt. <laughs> hey there, did you fall? Did I see you at a toy store? Because you're simply a doll. Oh, are you a parking ticket? Because you've got fine written all over you. Yes, sir. Is it just you or are the dummy's cheeks redder than before? <laughs> There's someone here. Oh, <laughs> Tori. Um, God, I'm not doing so well today, am I? This next game is called Deep Sea Valentine. Again, no nudity warnings. We should be fine, uh, despite what this first menu page looks like. Uh, I'm not even going to try to justify my actions in this video today. I We're just new game. New game. Hell yeah, it's Valentine's Day, baby! Time to pick up hot women. <laughs> Hell yeah! I'm f I'm fucking with it already. Respectfully. <laughs> I exhale a deep breath and watch the glimmering air bubbles float upwards. But first, I want to take a look at the surface. Oh my god. I... I shouldn't be playing this. There's, there's several wrongs. 
There's several wrongs on several levels. I... Oh my god. Oh, Ania. Trish, what brings you here? You bring me here. I mean, it's Valentine's Day, and you and I have been close for a long time. That's why I know you're gonna find a last-minute date, just like every other year. Isn't that the whole point of today? No, it's why you always end up with some random fool. Yo, Trish is speaking straight facts. Trish is... she's not pulling any punches. But this year, I won't put up with that. If you want a date, I'll have to pr approve of them first. Uh, okay. I... I should be playing this. Do you accept those terms and conditions? And so I shall... Uh, uh, of course you do. I'm not your boss, just a concerned friend. Well then. Sure, sounds like a fun challenge. What happens if I don't accept? Uh, it sounds like a fun challenge. I'm glad you can be reasonable sometimes. Just give me a call before you get a proper date. Okay. I... I should not be playing this. I don't know what's happening. Um... Uh... This is where Trish lives. I have no reason to go in here. I don't know what I just picked up, but I picked up something that was junk. Uh, it was pulsating. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about this anymore, guys. I probably. I don't know about this anymore. Where does the dating begin? Can I date you? Kind of hard to see through the seaweed, but isn't someone up there? Don't say anything. Oh, man. Hey, you. Who, who's there? The sea dragon looks around frantically as if she heard a, just heard a ghost. Come on now. It's not hard to figure out where the voice is coming from. I'm down here. I said who, not where. In that case, I'm Nia. You look a bit lost. Do you need help? Yes, urgently. I live in purple forest, but when I woke up, I suddenly found myself here trapped between all the seaweed. So you're a sleepwalker. Not that I'm aware of. This is the first time something like this has happened to me. Hmm, you're pretty small, so did the waves just carry you away then? Frankly, I don't care how I ended up in this place. I simply want to get out of it. What a tricky situation. I do want to go on a, uh, go on a date today, but saving her seems like a bigger priority right now. After all, rescuing women is more important than kissing them. Uh, what's happening? Huh? What do I do? It was his idea to go here. It's his fault. But I'm well aware he's a moron. So it would have been my responsibility to stop him. The least I can do is find him. But how? Suddenly the distressed looking man notices me. This is a man? I- okay. It's 2023. Y you would you mind lending an ear to a stranger in need? I'm dedicating this. I'm dedicating this entire day to strangers in their needs. I'm done. I right, I'm calling it quits. I'm so sorry, but I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Next game. The next game is the last game. Thank God we're almost. <laughs> this was a bad idea. This was a horrible idea. I regret this very much. I so regret this. Oh, I so regret this. So this last game right here is called Love Choice. I picked this one as our last game because it actually looked like it was, you know, something. Like it actually looked like it was going to hold some weight to it and not just for gits and shiggles, right? Um, I really don't know what this game is about. I don't honestly, I didn't know what any of these games were about. I was just trying to find something Valentine-y, uh... So, I... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. All the... All the love in the air is really getting to me. Love choice. Let's get into it, I guess. Uh, select story. Love game, love distance, love detective? Let's start with love game? I don't know what's happening. I'm a game developer. There's a game jam today. A game jam is a game development event. Participating ja Participants have just 48 hours to make a game around the given, uh, given theme. 
Sometimes, if you're lucky, there might be girls in your game jam team. I guess my team didn't have much luck this time. The jam starts on Friday afternoon. Most of the teams will spend the first night coming up with ideas and designing their game. Everything is going well with my team. We quickly came up with an idea, so I'm taking a short break to have a look around. That's when I noticed her. Her team is sitting next to mine. It looks like her team is in the middle of an intense discussion. Then I hear one of them say, let's just take a break and try again in 10 minutes. Her teammates leave their chairs, leaving her alone without writing her notes. <clears throat> this is my chance to talk to her, I think to myself. I check my hair and clothes and put on the best smile I can. I walk over to her acting as natural as possible. Uh, hey, I'm... <laughs> can we be friends? She appears to be feeling awkward, but she still politely introduces herself. Hi, I'm Ooh. Nice to meet you, Ooh. That's a lovely name, Ooh. After the game jam ended, I found her through web chat or through WeChat. Although it was kind of awkward at first, we quickly became pen pals, sharing our secrets and feelings. My friends say even though I didn't get an award at game jam, I was the real winner. I can't argue with that. I'm so lucky to have met her. Two weeks later, we were texting through WeChat. Now I'm waiting for a good opportunity to ask her out to a movie, and maybe dinner. My boss got mad at me today, but I just did exactly as he asked me to. And now he's blaming me. How can I not be upset? The boss always takes credit and subordinates, uh, and subordinates take the blame. Maybe it's just a communication problem. Maybe it's just a communication problem, you know? It can't be that bad. Maybe it's, maybe it's you know? Uh, perhaps he didn't do it on purpose. I know you have a generous heart. Just forgive him. There's more. None of my colleagues were willing to defend me. That wasn't fair. Wage earners like them, like them, never offend the boss. Uh, they probably didn't know the whole story. Neither of these sound like a good option to say, but I I'll go with the wage earners. They need to work to be able to live. I'm still upset. Why don't you hang out with me this weekend? Ah, smooth transition. That was smooth. That was smooth. Just have some fun, okay? Okay. Yeah, that was smooth. Want to go to a movie? Copperman, sci-fi, Jutin, horror, uh, women who pout. It's Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the love. So why not go see a rom-com? Let's go see women who pout. This movie looks great. Want to watch it? Well, okay. I'll see you this weekend. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh. Uh, there's actual game stuff going on now. Okay, I've got the tickets. I should have uh, find a fancy restaurant somewhere near the cinema for our date. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. You can never be too prepared for a date. I should try to find as many as I can. Minigame, click the good restaurants to add them to your favorites. Avoid the bad ones. Prepare for your first date. How do I know which one is a good and which one is a bad? Uh, uh, whoa. Okay. Uh, those are all bad. That's a good one. Okay. I'm starting to understand. I get it. I get it. That's Those are bad. That's good. That's good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You gotta get 11 of these? Ah, uh, ah! Uh! Uh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, that one wasn't that hard. I feel like if we get another one of those, it's going to be, oh uh, shit. It's probably just going to progressively get harder as it continues. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I lost it. I lost it. I thought it was this one, but I... I do not like, no, now you're going to throw two into the mix? Shit, okay. If anything, I can at least follow one. No, what? Uh, Maybe it's not actually an empty hat. Maybe the game is just fucking with me? Yes. Okay, so I had the, I had the other one right. Oh no, uh, I was not paying attention to the second one. Fuck! Shit! 
God damn it! I think I can find more. Oh, it's gonna start me from the beginning! God damn it! Uh, it's these two. Now it's these two. It's these two. Yes! Let's go! Only the finest restaurants! That's good. We're good. We're Gucci. Gourmet. Gourmet master. It's finally the day of our date. This is my first time sitting next to her and I can't help uh, feeling a little nervous. I just keep telling myself to stay calm. Uh, I keep telling myself to calm down and focus on the movie. The movie ends and we stay in our seats until everyone else is gone. Hey, what y'all planning to do? The movie was kind of interesting. It wasn't bad. So what's next? I know a nice restaurant nearby. Mmm. Sushi. Cantonese, Cantonese dim sum, uh, Sichuan, Sichuan, right? Sichuan hot pot, Southeast Asian cuisine. You could never go wrong with sushi. Sure, I'm not picky. You can never go wrong with sushi. Sushi's not necessarily my first choice, but you know, it's good. Moonlight paints a silver outline around her face. I can hear my heart beat as I look at her. We're becoming closer and closer. We don't even need to speak. There's already a tacit understanding between us. I don't think there's anything more to be said. Can I hold your hand? Um, that was the beginning of our story. Oh. <laughs> oh. We talk to each other all the time now. We always discuss the things we have in common. We are eager to understand each other more deeply. It's like we want to zoom in and look closer into each other's hearts. I gotta go. No, I never want to go. I, I don't want to leave. Oh, oh. Every relationship comes with its arguments. It's unavoidable. You cannot avoid an argument no matter how much you think or how much you really like the person or how much you know how strong your relationship is arguments are inevitable but it, it really just matters as to like how much you can be there for each other i don't know why i'm giving you guys <laughs> advice right now i did the same thing when i was playing left on red um i was like giving a little life advice about relationships and shit like that while i was playing the game I don't know why. She likes to tell me about all the troubles in her daily life, just like she used to. I believe a clever girl like her should be able to handle these kinds of problems herself. Still, she always seems to be upset about them. My boss got mad at me today. But I just did exactly as he asked me to. Now he's blaming me. How can I not be upset? Oh, this is the same kind of conversation that we had before. What if I say something different this time? Most bosses are the same. They take the credit and let subordinates take the blame. Don't take it personally. There's more. None of my colleagues were willing to defend me. That wasn't fair. Uh, they probably didn't know the full story. They weren't involved. They didn't know the facts, so they just decided to keep their mouth shut. Oh, did I mess up? I, ugh. When you get closer, you start to notice flaws that you didn't see at first. Troubles always arise between couples. Either I bow to her or she bows to me. There's no third answer, is there? When I get home from work, she's watching her favorite Korean TV series. Empty food boxes and tissues are everywhere. I'm so tired, can, uh, she can clean it up herself. Uh, no, there needs to be a compromise. You don't just leave it to one person or you don't just like... Uh, there doesn't need to be... there. There should be a compromise. Be like, hey, let's clean this up together. I guess I'll do it, though. And Time goes by so fast. It's already been three years since we met. Damn! Three years ago, we met at Game Jam. You came over to talk to me. Honestly, I felt awkward when you first spoke to me. Perhaps you should act more naturally. We started chatting more off more after that. Gradually you became the one I liked uh, the one I talked to the most. 
Do you still remember our first date? I was confused because you didn't seem to prepare at all for our first date. I thought you hadn't even bothered to learn what I liked. Do you remember the first time we held hands? I felt that on a beautiful night like that, words would have only ruined the mood. We had more time to get to know each other afterward. We talked about what hobbies we had in common and shared everything about our lives. But our talks only ever scratched the surface. I always wanted to share more personal thoughts with you. Though we had a good time together, sometimes we fight. You're so stubborn when we fight. I don't always want to be the one to apologize. To apologize first. It means we always end up fighting about little things. I hope you'll always be there as a listener for me. Maybe I shouldn't get so upset about the little problems in my life. I know I can handle them, but sometimes I just want you to hear me out and share my feelings. I want you to know that I need more than cold, advi cold advice. I'm not your colleague. We're not perfect. I believe that neither of us should have conceded, should have to concede to, to the other. Oh my God. A one-sided relationship won't last long, but sometimes I just want you to tolerate my shortcomings. Oh no. Did my sudden letter scare you? Is she leaving? No! I've never shared my feelings like this before. But this will be the first and only time. Sadly, we didn't make it. No! But I'll never regret our relationship with her. I was so about to her. Yo! Yo, is that supposed to happen? Could I have done something? Oh damn, that was cute. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna play all three of these. If you guys do want to see me play the other two, um I guess let me know. I I don't think I really plan on doing any more of these. I just wanted to do something fun for Valentine's Day. Um I I wanted to get something out to you guys, celebrate the uh the day of love. Even though every day you should show uh, some appreciation to your loved ones, show some appreciation to your significant others, to your parents, your siblings, your friends. Valentine's Day does not have to be the day that you go all out and, you know, love a person because that should be every day. We as humans just want love. We just want to be loved. So if there's anything you take from this really weird out of place video for my kind of content, uh, I love you and go out there and spread some love today. I don't, I don't know. Uh, happy Valentine's day. Hopefully if you don't have a significant other in your life, then go spread some love to a family member. Go spread some love to a friend, get some love from anybody. Try to find a random person and spread some love. That's, uh, that's all I really got to say. I'm going to regret some of my choices for this video, uh, but I'm also going to take away some some really good stuff, you know? Uh, but I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I genuinely mean that. Happy Valentine's Day to every single one of you. Uh, stay safe out there. Take it easy. And... <laughs> Big body out.